Hi, my name is Eric Olson. This video is going to cover the topic, do seniors need debt management, or another word, word for it is consumer credit counseling. So I've been an attorney for 42 years. I'm the founder of HELPS, which is a national nonprofit law firm. And it's an acronym that stands for Help Eliminate Legal Problems for Seniors. And uh, before I started HELPS, a little over 10 years ago, I probably filed 30 or 40,000 bankruptcies. Okay? And I've been helping seniors and people with financial issues for decades. And um, I got off the phone a few minutes ago with a, with a guy that had found us. And, uh, and when I talked to him, um, I found out that he had been enrolled with a, a debt management company. Okay? Now, what's a debt management company? Well, when I was younger, before the internet, and you probably remember consumer credit counseling, okay? For the internet, consumer credit counseling organizations were established in different cities. And what they did is they, they helped people pay their debt. And they were usually nonprofit, charitable, okay, and... Uh, they got the way they supported themselves is when people when they signed people up they got to keep a little percentage of the money that they collected that went to the credit card company whoever people owed money to as a as a donation to them that's how they supported themselves well when the internet came to pass everything changed so a lot of different nonprofit companies said well we can do get in this business so we can cover the whole country so um, there's probably 20 or more nonprofit debt management companies that advertise help with debts. Now, there's two types of companies that helps people with debts. Uh, one, a debt management company, and then there's a debt settlement company. Now, what a debt settlement company is, they're usually for profit, okay? It could be a law firm and that advertises. And what they do is, and you could set one up yourself. You have to comply with maybe some state laws, but some states are more liberal than others. What they do is say, you pay us so much a month, a month in your money, we're going to collect it, and then we're going to try to settle your debt for less than what you owe. Okay, And then they charge a fee, and it's a significant fee. It's going to be high. And the way they structure the fee often is they get paid up front a lot of money because if, if the person fails or can't go through, they at least collected their money. It's a real money maker. And therefore, there's states of, some states have come down and regulated these, sta these sta debt settlement companies pretty heavily. But some states don't. But they're for profit. Um, and then there's the debt management companies that are, quote, nonprofit. And how do they work? Well, they don't settle debt. What you do is you pay so much a month and they'll distribute amongst your creditors and they'll try to work with the credit to either to, to lower the interest rate, okay? And um, you'll make payments for three to four years, maybe even a little bit longer. Uh, neither one can guarantee that a creditor isn't going to sue you, okay? But, but So that's the difference. A debt management company is you pay your debt, maybe not having to pay interest over a long time, time and they advertise that they're, quote, nonprofit, therefore we're really good. And then there's the debt settlement company say, well, we're not nonprofit, but you pay us and we'll, you will, you'll pay less. We'll try to settle the debt. So that's the difference. But how are they alike? One way, with a few exceptions. Neither one, as a, except for maybe a few debt management companies, but not many, would ever tell a senior who's on Social Security, Pension, Disability, or VA benefit. This fact. By the way, Mr. Jones, you really don't need our help because your Social Security, your pension, your disability, your VA, whatever their income is, is protected by federal law and can't be taken from you. Even if you got sued, they couldn't garnish or take that money from you. Therefore, you don't need to pay this debt. They won't tell them that. Why don't they tell them that? 
Well, if they told them that and the person decided not to go with their services, they wouldn't get paid. So how does the nonprofit debt management company get paid? Well, they charge a little fee, true, but then they have a prearranged agreement with the credit card companies, like Consumer Credit Counseling did, that they take a they can take a percentage of whatever they collect that someone pays them that they forward to the credit card company. They get a certain percentage as a donation, a pre pre approved donation from the credit card company. They can take it right out of the money that someone one of their clients that they sign up pays them right off the top. It's a and they don't tell people this that they have a they have a, an agreement with the credit card company to take some of their money as a donation from so it's it's kind of a conflict of interest you know they suppose they're helping seniors who owe debt but they're being paid by the the people that they're supposedly the CEO's money to so they their financial interest is you know if i can't get money from this senior, then I'm not gonna get paid this donation. It's a conflict of interest. As an attorney, if I represented someone and the person I'm trying to help, if I, the other party that is adversarial to them was paying me, huh, I'd get disbarred. Uh, you know, it's a co classic conflict of interest. Um, because of this, you know, I got a call not long, just, earlier this morning, a few minutes ago, not long ago, from a guy, and um, he got her name from someone, and he was signed up with a debt management company, one of these nonprofit ones. How much are you paying? $1,300 a month. His wife and him got Social Security and a little pension. Uh, they didn't have a whole lot of money. $1,300 a month was a lot of money for them. And he's told me, I can't afford to pay it. I can't afford it. Uh, well, how'd you find out about us? He said, well, a friend told me about you and I got on YouTube and saw a video. Um, and I said, well, when you signed up with this debt management company, I'm not going to say the name. There's a lot of different, ones, a lot of them. Did they tell you, by the way, Mr. Whatever your name is, you really don't need our help because your social security and your pension is protected by law. No one can touch it. Did they tell you that? He said, no, they never told me that. Uh, I ask that all the time with people who are signed up with debt management companies. And I can't recall ever, I mean, I don't know, maybe some, that they were told. Yeah, so they told me that. They don't tell people that because if, if they told them that, the person wouldn't sign up with them and they wouldn't be making money and have their job. So they, they don't have an incentive to tell the seniors the truth, the full facts. And what's sad about this is that these debt management companies, again, there's a few exceptions. A couple of them refer cases to helps, okay? They're, they're honest, but the vast majority don't. They don't. But what's sad about it is a lot of people, a lot of government agencies, a lot of nonprofit, other people, you know, that should know better but don't know better, say, to seniors, if you've got a financial problem, go to this debt settle this debt management company. They're a nonprofit. They're five more. They'll they'll give you the information. Then the debt management companies advertise that they're people that that will counsel with you have been trained and got a certificate and stuff. Well, they may have been trained, but they never teach them to tell a senior, by the way, your income is protected, you don't need our help. Okay? Now, I don't know why they don't, well, I know why they don't do that, because it's going to cut into their bottom line if they told the full truth. But they might say, well, we can't tell them that because that would be giving legal advice. <laughs> that's not giving legal advice. That's, that's telling something that's the basic law. It's like someone wants to know what are the Ten Commandments. You can read them what they are, and that's one of them is that if you have Social Security, Pension, Disability, that income is protected by various federal laws and can't be taken from a person. So they're not being honest with people. And if anyone has signed up with a debt management company and they have been told this, you haven't been told the complete truth. And, and this guy, he had 80,000 in debt, uh, $1,300 a month that was gonna go for a long time. And I told him, I said, well, you can pay it. You don't need to pay it. And if you don't pay it, well, what are the creditors gonna do? 
well, they can't really, I mean, bottom line, they really can't do anything to you. I mean, if they were to sue you, and I tell people, if you have 10 creditors you owe money to, 10 credit cards, maybe 1.5 out of 10 would file a lawsuit. So what if they file a lawsuit? Uh, your income is protected. They can't garnish it. And then there's a federal law that protects twice the amount of your federal benefits deposited into a bank account, regardless of what funds are in there from garnishment. So your bank account's protected. And then there's state laws that protect your property. You had a little bit of equity in a home, but it was protected under a state law. And it's not the practice of judgment creditors to ever go after a person's home, even if they have equity over and above the exemption for the state where they live. Just, I mean, it could just don't do it for different reasons. So that's the problem with people need to know about debt management companies uh, and what they, you know, what they do and what they don't do. Now, they might be very good to help someone that's younger, that's employed, that has a job where he could be garnished and something like that. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. But for them not to tell a senior the most basic truth that their income is protected and can't be taken, in my opinion, that is, that's a travesty. And what's sad is that agencies and organizations that recommend people to these companies, these debt management companies, and they used to be called Consumer Credit Counseling. That's what they are. They're, that's the old name, but then now they have different names, but they're essentially Consumer Credit Counseling. They recommend to them. They recommend people to go to them because maybe they don't know any better. They don't, and that's probably it. They don't know any better. They don't know that there's an organization out there like Helps that represents seniors who owe debt. So the they don't have to pay the debt. They can use it for their food, for their medicine, for their electric bill, for their for their housing expenses, for transportation, for their needs, instead of paying debt that they can't afford to pay. And that this organization helps can stop the creditors from calling them or sending demand letters anymore. And that we're represent seniors ongoing, not just one time, but literally for as long as they want us. So if they're worried or have a question or concern, they can always call us. And if, if they happen to be sued, we tell we explain to them, hey, why a creditor can't do anything to them? Why, if they get a judgment, they're, they're judgment proof. And, and we're always there to answer their question. You know, that's why Helps was started, so that seniors, you know, would have someone to call if they had a question. So I got a call right after this guy from a guy that's wanted to file bankruptcy. Okay. And I started to ask him a few questions and he know, he needed bankruptcy like he needed a hole in his head. He was in his close to 80 years old. Didn't have a lot of income, owed quite a bit of debt. And thought, oh, I need to file bankruptcy. And he didn't even quote a price for bankruptcies. I can't afford to pay it. And I explained to him, well, you really don't need to file bankruptcy because you realize that your your income is protected, your your Social Security and this pension, you, no one can touch it. You know, I, no, I didn't realize. I mean, the bankruptcy attorney didn't tell you that. No, he didn't tell me that. I don't know how much detail he got with the bankruptcy attorney, but, you know, it's the same kind of thing. Uh, his income was protected, and what helps can do is represent him so that he didn't have to deal with the collectors anymore. Now, he didn't know that much about him, about us. So I sent him an email with a link to some videos here on our YouTube page and also with Senior Living that we do some videos with. and um, Maybe an article, too. We have some preloaded emails. And I said, look at this. And after you look at this, call back and we'll go over your situation because you're going to be fine. You don't have anything to worry about. So that's the story on debt management. Okay. Um, if you've, if you're, if you're in debt management and you call them on the phone and you're on social security or pension or disability or VA benefits, and they never mention the fact that your, your income is protected. No one can get at it. They're not telling, they're not giving you your complete information that you're entitled to. And that should make you immediately suspect. And they're not. Did they tell you that 
how they're supported. Well, they might tell you there's a little bit of fee they charge from what you, you pay them, but do they tell you that part of the way they're supported is when you pay them money, they get to take a certain percentage out as a donation? No, they won't tell you that. Okay? Um, so that's it. Um, I suppose you could think of a, an exception where debt management might make sense for a senior, but that would be very rare. Um, and the same thing with bankruptcy. Some There's rare occasions when bankruptcy could make sense for a senior, but not always. Um, but the most important thing is I think seniors are entitled to know is the truth, to give, be given the complete story that their income is protected. So what HELPS does is we represent seniors nationwide, all 50 states, who so a debt they can't afford to pay. There's a federal law called the Fair Debt Collection Practice Act. It says if a person is represented by an attorney, collectors can no longer call or send demand letters to that person anymore. So people that enroll in HELPS, uh, they give us the people they owe money to. We send what's called a cease and desist letter, and they, the creditors leave them alone. And the most common thing you hear of clients is, helps brought peace back to my life. And just like um, both these guys that I talked to, you know, they didn't know that much about us. Someone had told about us. They may have just scanned our website. You know, I sent them an email and said, you need to study us out and then call back and talk to us. We'll be able to help you. But learn a little bit about helps and what we do. Okay. And one out of... One out of five of our clients get our help for free. Those that pay, pay a very minimal amount. I mean, we never, you know, example could be, you know, $20 for 12 months, then $10 a month, or the most a person would pay would be $40 for 12 months, and then $20 a month, and after three years, the fee is reduced to $5 a month. Uh, and then, so, you know, the fee is de minimis or minimal, and we make it work for people. We're, we're not in it for the money. We're here to help people help seniors so that they, they can they can survive. And, then, and uh, that's what our second mission is, to educate seniors how they can maintain their financial independence. So not only do we protect seniors from collector harassment, but we give them tools and what they can do with their finances so they can survive on the amount of money they're getting. We do a lot of things that way. Well, if they owe taxes, we'll talk to them how they why you don't need to pay the taxes, same with the student loan, um, why you don't have to worry about a lawsuit, um, maybe you have a car payment you can't afford, uh, maybe you got a lot of equity in a home, what can you do that that's going to help you? You know, if you're married, husband, wife, what you can do to set it, things up so maybe when one of the spouses, the husband dies before the wife, what's going to make it easier for the wife? Um, you know, how to protect an asset for kids. Um, we provide legal information. We don't represent people in court. Our clients don't need an attorney to go to court. If they do, we'd help them get an attorney. But very, very rarely do our clients need to actually go to court or need someone in court. So that's the scoop on helps. Uh, you can look at more of our videos on this channel. Uh, you can always call us at the number below. Uh, like our video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, and if helps isn't for you, remember what I've talked about. And what we do, because a lot of seniors need this help. Half of seniors have income within 200% of the poverty line. They retire owing more debt than ever before. And there's no other organization out there that does what HELPS does to help these seniors. There's a lot of help for seniors that have money. AARP, great. They help people that have money. Banker, uh, elder law attorneys, bless their hearts, but, you know, they're supporting families, and they represent seniors that have estates, that have money. There's no organization out there helping the poor seniors or lower-income seniors. Helps us. So share what we do with others, and uh, hope you've learned something, and you have a great day.